hey guys what is going on good morning good morning good morning okay it might not be morning by the time this comes out and it might not be morning by the time you are watching this especially if you are in a different country um but what is going on what's your problem what's good the first thing is first okay the first the first thing that you need to go and do is you need to subscribe honey okay you need to go and subscribe to my channel because i see you i see you lurking on this channel watching my content and not being subscribed and i don't like that i need you to go and show your girl this is the girl right here some love okay but anyway and in case you haven't heard of course i keep mentioning it because i'm very excited i'm very proud this is something that i've been working on for a long time and it's, you know it's my baby um the power collection is finally out it would have made sense if i actually wore something from my collection right now i don't know why i just flung on anything at this point in time we are not really caring about what we are wearing and, and you know that kind of jazz so you know please check out the power collection again i'm very very proud of the power collection i'm proud of what i have done i'm proud of the fact that it is out and it is launched i've been working on it since last year and um the when was it the 20th of march i think it was i finally released the power collection and i'm gassed and you know i want every single one of you guys to go out there and support 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 something else that i wanted to mention at the beginning of this video that's it the power class program i promise you this will be the final notice okay the power class program as you can kind of see there's like a theme going around with this whole power thing um yeah the power class program which is basically all about building a more powerful you both on and offline so we focus on personal development we focus on your self-esteem confidence um uh you know uh, public speaking skills all of that stuff i can't lie to you it's growing there's more and more people joining it i'm very excited about it um you you know on there as well like i said it's both building a more powerful version of yourself on and offline so we do focus on the offline first that's our number one priority working on your personal development working on your self-esteem working on your mental health um it's very important it's a muscle that we need to train and we need to build up and then aside from that also working on your online version so building that brand building that social media platform and um, focusing on you know building building yourself online basically you know branding social media marketing all of that good stuff okay so um yeah make sure you join because what did we have last week actually we had um a friend of mine the amazing and the wonderful courtney daniela you've probably watched courtney daniela's youtube channel or you know her for her company cd cd london hair i think i got that right because she just rebranded um you know for running her own company cd london hair she is just so amazing and so talented and she knows so much when it comes to branding and building an online platform and building it from scratch and having real life customers you know so yeah just shout out to her because she's flipping amazing we had her last week and she was great and she shared so much wisdom and so much knowledge we were basically talking about audience so the theme for um this week or last week should i say was audience and this week was the theme gonna be carving out your own lane so building from that audience but carving out your own lane creating a space for yourself even in places where number one you feel like the industry is very saturated and number two you feel like um there might not have been anyone that that did what you are trying to do anyway listen enough about that i'm just gonna go straight into what i wanted to talk about today as you can tell from the title of this video i wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how to stay sane um during all of this stuff during quarantine during isolation during an unprecedented time in history during a time that is very interesting and very different and very strange um we've never been in anything like this before well at least it you know in my lifetime we've never seen or been in anything like this before we've never experienced anything like this before around the world this is not an epidemic this is a pandemic it is all over the globe so we're all experiencing it and it, it's very uncomfortable and um i know that i reserve my how-to videos for separate 
you know how to and whatnot but i felt as though i really wanted to share this for a wake up wednesday because i know that there are a lot of people who are also watching and i completely understand who are kind of like it's well and good you giving all this encouragement and motivation and whatever see i listen to you guys i listen to you guys and make sure i listen to you guys it's all well and good because i've seen you guys you know it's all well and good being positive and being encouraged and all of these things but what can we actually do during this time because at the end of the day um i've lost my job or at the end of the day um i've just lost a, a family member and i think it's really important for us to maintain our mental health our sanity our strength our ability to stay focused at this time because it's moments like this that really do push people and sometimes can push people over the edge because you know maybe you are somebody who has already been struggling you've already been finding life really difficult you've already just about been making ends meet um just about being able to survive for you and your kids and then all of this happened and you're kind of like what the actual hell okay so sorry guys i'm trying to i'm out here trying to find the best position in the best lighting you guys obviously like my come drive with me from last week but i'm not gonna lie, i can't recreate that right now because i just need to focus on on, on driving but um yeah you know i just wanted to kind of give some encouragement during this time in terms of just staying sane um you know i know that there are, there are a lot of people and this is very very real sorry guys i just had to take off my jacket but it's gotten even more real for a lot of people because either you know a family member's been affected or you know someone that's been affected or you know you know someone's auntie's friend or something that's been affected and it's like oh my gosh that's way too close to home and it's so easy to be so consumed by what is happening right now and to feel like you're losing your mind especially those that um already go through it especially those that maybe um have been dealing with you know mental health issues so i just wanted to come and kind of speak to you guys and share some practical things that i am even doing to keep myself sane because even the strongest people um when there is something like this that's going on that's taking people's lives that's um you know forcing people into a place of uncomfortability uncertainty is forcing you in that place it is easy for you to fall into that trap even you can be Man, not manipulated in the sense that you know they're lying to us but be manipulated in the sense that even you can be put in a place where it's like oh my gosh maybe i'm not anxious enough about this i'm not taking it seriously am i like am i actually taking this seriously or whatever it is you start questioning yourself quite a lot so i just wanted to kind of share with you guys a couple of things now the first thing that i'm going to start off with is number one limiting the amount of information you are absorbing about corona and all of this stuff happening now you might watch this and say do you know what um that's just being ignorant that's just ignoring the truth it's just ignoring fact no it's not it's about protecting your mind at the end of the day right now if you watch the news everything is about corona everything is about covid19 everything is about people dying and people getting sick what do you think that is doing to your mental health right now do you think that it is healthy for you to spend every single day and for some people maybe even watching this is every moment of your waking day but spending every single day listening to the same negative news over and over and over again it is not healthy even for the strongest of people it is not healthy for those that are trying to lead a healthier life and in order for you to leave that lead that healthy life your mind has to be in the right place so if you are literally spending even my mom i had to even tell my mom i was like mom every day you're watching this news and um basically the, I don't know, like, the, I don't want to go too deep into it, right? But my mum would be considered higher risk at this point in time, right? So um, we're all being, you know, extra careful, not going out, trying to, to limit our interactions with going out or other people, whether it be in the supermarket or whatever like that. Um, but with her, there's that element of her that I know is a little bit like... Though she doesn't want to admit it, but I see it when she watches the news and when she allows herself to, to continuously be told that, you know, people that are of higher risk, they're, they're, you know, they're of higher risk. So, you know, people are, are passing away and they're doing this and they're doing that. And for me, it's not healthy because then that's all you're going to dwell on. And that is now going to dictate 
how you are. It's going to dictate your mood. It's going to dictate how you maybe act. It's going to dictate um, your your just the way your your mind is functioning. You know, I had a session with my power class program um, at one point, and it was the on the personal development aspect. So it was on building the more powerful version of you offline, right? And one of the sessions, I can't even remember what the topic was on that session, but all I remember saying was that it is even proven in science. Science, if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in faith, you don't believe in anything, fine. But it is even proven in science in itself that what you focus on manifests in your life, right? Because it physically, it literally, not metaphorically, it literally changes the like whatever is the neuropathogens or whatever it is in your mind whatever you call them all those things it changes the function of your brain therefore the output that you put out will be in response to what it is that you are focusing on that is not you know uh, me speaking by faith you know life and death is in the power of the tongue and when it talks about in the word that you know as a man thinketh so, so shall he be all of that kind of stuff this is not me just just saying that because it's from the bible or whatever that is what i believe but just in case you don't believe in god you don't believe in jesus you don't whatever fine science itself has proven that what you dwell on what you think about literally changes the way your brain functions not metaphorically literally so you are changing the function of your brain if you decide to sit there every single day and allow your mind to be filled with all of this stuff now i'm not saying what i am not saying let me get this correct what i am not saying is that you then decide that okay, um, I'm just not going to watch the news whatsoever. No, stay informed. Understand what is happening around you. That's just trying to be ignorant and ignorance is not bliss. What I am saying is that you can definitely limit the amount of information, negative information that you are receiving um, just so that you can keep yourself staying. That's number one. Number two, try your best. And I know it's not easy and I know it's easier said than done, but try your best to maintain some form of routine in your life. Um, you know, I was watching Patricia Bright's video the other day. She released a video about kind of like, she's taking back control over her, like her body and just her life because she was, was really struggling. The first, I think she said the first two weeks or the first week of quarantine, she just kind of was like, she just didn't really know how to do things because I can imagine she is somebody like myself who is used to during the week, I'm going and I'm, I'm having meetings. I'm, I'm, you know, creating content outside i'm i'm vlogging i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm you know working on my business i'm having meetings with my team um there's so many things that i am doing day to day and for someone like me it's weird being told like you've got to stay indoors like granted i still have a lot that i can do because a lot of the stuff that i do is online and i thank god for it and i'm very grateful but it's still very strange because i am used to being up down everywhere all there oh i've got a speaking engagement here i am a mover i don't really like being in the same place for a long time i like being situated and i like having a route i like having home but i don't like being in the same place for a long time but anyway that's neither here nor there you know and she said the importance of st her still being able to maintain a routine and i swear to you that is what has helped me i still allow myself to maintain a routine i posted on my instagram um a picture on sunday and i was basically saying how like i am still maintaining a routine because it allows me to keep some form of equilibrium in my life if i just let myself go and was just like ah well we'll just figure it out as we go along that for me would drive me crazy something else that she said actually that was very very true she said that you know humans whether we like to admit it or not human beings we like routine we like structure we do we like having um you know some form of routine it makes us feel accomplished it makes us feel like we've got again some form of control whether we like it or not human beings we like to control things okay so some form of control in our lives so giving yourself a routine whether it be just making sure that you're up at a certain time every single day like for me i'm always up between either seven or eight every single day no matter what okay cool the first thing that i do is make sure that i pray um there was something that i watched by joyce mayer she um is an incredible incredible um speaker preacher mentor whatever you want to call her but she said something she said that she started doing this thing where every morning before her feet touches the ground she makes sure that she starts off by praising and thanking god for waking her up and just praying and so i've implemented that in my life i don't care if i'm desperate to go to the toilet wherever it is even if it's just a quick one, just to say, Lord, thank you so much for waking me up this morning. 
I make sure that I do that. So I make sure that I pray. I read my word. If I don't do devotion in the morning, I'll do it in the evening. I just have that form of structure. And then I'll plan out my day. I have my to-do list. Now, I know some people don't like to-do lists, but me, I'm the queen of to-do lists. I love a good to-do list. So I'll put together my to-do list and then I'll get on with my day. Have some form of structure. Don't allow this to just be a time where you literally freak out and you're just kind of like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing every single day. I'm not used to this. I'm used to being around people. I'm used to doing this. I'm used to doing that. Don't let that be you. Have some form of structure. Next thing that I would say is get out of your own head. To be fair, that should have been number two. But, you know, I'm kind of going in no particular order. Also on that post that I did on Instagram, the first thing that I said on there it was how important it is to get out of your own head. Just because, again, if you are dwelling on, on everything that's happening at the moment, if you are really anxious or worried or fearful or whatever it is, all of those things, it does not make sense for you to be sat there and to just be repeating the same thing over and over again. It's very important that you get out of your own head. So take some time out is very important to just breathe and to do something else whether it be to pray or to meditate cool whether it be to read a book an article a blog post whether it be even to watch a youtube video now i know that this is some people are going to be like oh well it's just a way to distract yourself whatever yes it is <laughs> sometimes you need to distract yourself for 2.5 seconds just so you can have a moment to breathe you know, I think for me, with everything going on, I have been watching and I've been loving catching up with YouTube just because um, I've been so busy that I haven't just I just haven't had time to watch YouTube like that. So I'm finally in a place where when I'm maybe having a meal, because I don't know about you, but I have to watch something when I'm having a meal. But maybe even when I'm having a meal, I just like to sit down and I'll catch up with some YouTube and I'll watch something a little bit different. Because for me personally, it's just a way for me to get away from number one the news and everything that's going on right now in the world and number two to just get away from my own mind which is always basically you know when people say your mind why is it that your mind is like having 500 tabs open on your laptop that's how i feel all the time like i feel like i'm always thinking about the next step the next grind the next thing the next that oh i need to create content i need to film this i need to do that even this morning i woke up i prayed and i was like oh my gosh I need to hurry up and film this video for this Wake Up Wednesday. I'm literally filming this on the day that it's going to be released. I know, guys. I should have filmed it ages ago. But I've been busy. And then also because, again, very, very grateful. But I'm still working. Um, I'm still able to work because the stuff that I do is online. And I'm working from home at the moment. It means that there's still 5 million things that I'm thinking about all at the same time. So me taking out 10 minutes of my day to watch a YouTube video is exactly what I need. Okay? Because that helps me to get myself out of my own mind and just focus on something else for 10 minutes. Like you guys know. I'm not saying turn into a Netflix or a YouTube zombie. I'm not saying go and do that for five hours, 10 hours of your day, every single day. I'm just saying five, 10, 15, 20 minutes is okay because you're taking a break. So the next thing that I am going to say, which um, is probably going to be the last one because I think this is getting kind of long now. But the next thing that, the next thing that I'm going to say is in terms of staying connected. So I know that there's this whole thing, like there's a hashtag going around, like stay at home. Um, but in this, something like we're in this together, something, something like that. Um, but I think it's very, very important that you don't end up getting too disconnected from people because it is very easy for us to be in this space and to feel very alone very isolated very very separate for me it's been amazing now i know that again not everyone is in this situation i know that there are some people out there who don't necessarily have good relationship with their family who don't necessarily have good relationships with their friend but i would say even if you have that one friend that one friend that you know you can trust and that you love and that you just you just know is a good person in your life and really brings you joy in your life be sure to check in on them to call them to message them to stay connected because one of the the biggest things that we don't want to do is we don't want to be this these people that are so interconnected online where you know we're seeing each other post we're seeing each other um online and posting pictures and posting videos and whatever but we're not actually having real life interaction with people so we're not calling our friends and our family we're not checking up on them we're just again scrolling and basing our opinion of their lives or how they're doing or whatever it is based off of what we see on social media so i think it's really really important for us to stay connected in the real sense okay so making sure that you are 
you know, calling your friends and just speak it, not even necessarily to even talk about Corona, just have a catch up, have some banter, have some real healthy, hearty, you know, fun and a laugh over the phone, whether it be over Skype, Zoom, whatever it is, use whatever you need to use to stay connected with your loved ones, with your friends. If you know you have friends and family in different countries, call them, even if it means calling them every day. I mean, nobody's going nowhere, so you might as well call them and just just yeah i think you know making sure that you call you check in you really um just connect you really 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 connect with people during this time it's very very important to staying sane and allowing yourself to stay positive during this time obviously if people are being very negative especially if you are in a toxic household where your family is very negative or whatever it is definitely call up that one friend <laughs> Just speak to that one friend and allow that person to just pour into you. You know, people pour into us in different ways. It doesn't necessarily have to be like, oh, I'm pouring into you by speaking all these positive things. No, sometimes it's just having a great conversation and you just feel, you know, you feel restored and you feel you feel great within yourself. And one thing that I'm going to kind of conclude on as well is the most important factor over all of this. I've, I know I've mentioned elements of it Um you know as we've gone across this video but it's making sure that you are in a in a place and you pos position your heart and you posture your heart in a place of prayer um i know that again not everyone that watches me is a christian not everyone is of faith not everyone is the same of the same belief the same belief system or whatever um but i'm gonna tell you right now like this is the time for us to be so rooted in our faith and in god like no other if there was ever a time for you to run back to God, and maybe there's even some of you guys watching this right now and you're kind of like, oh, you know, for a long time, you've you've contemplated going back to God and building up your relationship again with God. But for so long, you've just kind of, life has just been whatever in it. So you've just been kind of like, eh, I'm busy anyway. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And now you're finally in that place where you're being forced to sit down and to really face your front <laughs> and to really look and analyze yourself. I'm gonna start driving again. You know, I only came out to drive for you guys, right? I have not driven my car in like a whole week. Literally in like a whole week. I ain't be driving, but I'm literally out here driving for y'all. Yeah, maybe you have even been, you know, contemplating and, and thinking like, you know, about your faith and stuff. I ain't, you. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. Now is the time for you to be so deep in prayer, to come back and to run back to him. And to not worry about how and, and, and just not worry about the stuff that you don't need to worry about. Please do not be of this mindset of like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not good enough or I'm, I'm this or I'm that or, you know, I've done too much. I've done too many negative things. Listen, God ain't worrying about all of that. You're worrying about that more than God is worrying, okay? I think I came down the wrong road again. Honestly, you are worrying about that more than God is. He's not worried about any of that. So, you know, you want to stay sane during this season. You want to stay sane during this time. I'm telling you right now, build up your relationship with God. Build up your relationship with Jesus because I'm telling you, my faith is the only thing, guys. Outside of all the practical things I've just mentioned to you and outside of all of these things, my faith is the only thing that has kept me so rooted and so, like at peace at peace guys at peace genuinely speaking at peace during a time where the world is telling us to panic and to to go into hysteria and to be worried and to be stressed and to be all of these things it has been my faith that has maintained a level of peace in my heart and in my life that i cannot describe to you that I cannot describe. So, you know, that would be the number one thing that I would suggest to anybody. Anyway, I'm gonna go now because I've been talking for ages. But listen, guys, stay safe. Um, stay well. You are you are good, okay? I know it's a scary time for a lot of us. I know right now feels like what the hell is actually going on? Like, what is happening right now? But I promise you, we're gonna get through this. Um, we're gonna come out the other side. I have every level of faith that this too shall pass and that you know people are going to come out stronger we're going to come out more um compassionate towards one another and in a in a crazy you know very very crazy like i said way 
we're going to learn a lot of lessons from this. A lot of lessons about humanity, about compassion, about love, about protecting one another, about being sympathetic, compassionate. I just think is is a massive learning curve for all of us as the human race. It is a massive learning curve. So, um, you know, try and take what you can from this. There's a lesson to be learned from everything and for all of us. So try and take what you can from this and stay focused on all the things that you can be grateful for the fact that you are watching this right now the fact that you are alive and that you are breathing be grateful be thankful that's another thing actually you want to stay sane be grateful every single day and wake up and remember that you've been given mercy okay that it is by god's grace that you are still able to wake up in the morning and have the function of your lungs and and whatever it is to still see another day that is a blessing in itself so you want to stay sane stay grateful have a heart of gratitude be grateful for your family your friends the fact that you are alive the fact that you are you know able to have the things that you have even if it's little be grateful for that little that you have that is when things grow and that is when you get more because you are grateful in that moment be grateful anyway i'm gonna go now so don't forget to like subscribe and share if you have not subscribed me and you have a problem subscribe um and also let me know as well you know right now we're not going anywhere so i have the space and the capacity to film loads of content for you guys so please 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 let me know what type of content you guys want to see so feel free hit me up and of course stay beautiful